Hi YouTube, I'm Akoya's boyfriend, and because I gave her the idea of something I saw like a decade ago, I'm going to be narrating over one of her makeup tutorials. Alright, here we go again. First time, too aggressive. Okay, Fenty, I already know this is eyeliner because I've watched this part before, or it's something akin to eyeliner. I know what I'm talking about. Alright, she's applying it much more aggressively on that eye. She seems to notice, she agrees with me. Okay, rubbing it in. Rubbing until just your eyelids look glossy, I guess. Because it does not stay pink. It just stays kind of like, uh, shiny. It's fine. I'm sure that that's exactly what it's designed to do. No surprises yet. Okay, the white tear stuff, which is a powder that you apply also to your eyes, over that glossy stuff. So, I think you can kind of see the darker part on the outside of her eye, or on like the outside. So, that's working. Additional powders that look nice. Blending it in with the other ones with a brush. So this is something that I taught Akoya how to do, but she abuses here for some reason. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Still shiny. A little metallic, but I think that's the point. Other eye. Yep, seems to be going pretty well. It's uh, it's moving. I, I think this is much slower in real life because I've, I've seen Akoya get ready before. It has not happened in under 10 minutes. All right, she continues. The effort's ongoing. She's using the other mirror to look at it closer. All right, Angel Baby by Hello Kitty. Got it. Additional color, uh, helping with the blend. I know I'm saying something wrong. Koi's laughing at me. Okay, she got one of those little pencils out. I've seen people use these before to do cat eyes. Okay, she's just using it to literally li line the bottom of her eyes. Got it. This seems like it would be painful. I've never really understood this one. But obviously I don't put on makeup. I did it once for, like, children's use theater. Got out of that pretty fast. All right, this is called, is it mascara? Okay, cool. That's what that is. Akoya's told me she's jealous of my, uh, whatever they're called. Eyelashes. Eyelashes, got it. <laughs> so I guess that helps with that. Okay, dabbing some stuff on her face. It's a very far off from her skin tone, so I'm assuming this is some foundation. Okay, gotta rub that in, obviously. And don't think you wanna leave weird streaks of light pink all over your face. I don't know, maybe it's a look. Looking good. Additional thing, still with Rihanna. Still supporting a independent business. It's a spray on. Oh wait, no, that was just something else. Okay, this one's slightly closer to her skin tone. So that's a good sign. I don't know how I felt about her pretending to put on like pink. It's not her natural skin tone, it's a little bit weird. <laughs> Uh, but this looks much better. It's doing it's doing what it's supposed to do, obviously. Whatever that is. Um, skin's looking vibrant, looking brighter, looking more uniform. I uh, don't see any, uh, what's it called? Pores. I think, I think that's the point. That looked like a glue stick for a second, but... Okay. Lighter. A little lighter. Or war paint. Hard to say. Um... Okay, I'm assuming this is where you're going to try to blend this into your actual, add towards the rest of your face, but I don't know. I feel like I pay pretty close attention when I see you in real life, and you don't have it looking like this. So, yeah, I was right. It'd be weird if I wasn't. Um, dabbing around. Look how clean that blend is. Like a professional. Someone's been doing this for years. Couldn't be me. Looking good. Noticing the shininess on the eye on the eyelids now, so that's paying off. The first part worked, mission accomplished. I feel like so much of this would get in your eyes, so that look. I assume that's why you blink so much in these videos, and not just because time sped up. Okay, looking pretty good. I don't know what that logo is supposed to be. Got it. Okay, a little darker tone. Interesting. That is a really clean line, like nicely done. Okay, looking a little. I don't know. A little bit too aggressive for me on the nose one, but I get it. This is contouring, isn't it? Ah, I've heard about this. Someone told me it was. It doesn't do anything, but... Hey, well, what do they know? What do I know? I've never contoured anything. Okay, blending it, dabbing it. I'm assuming you don't just leave the lines on. I would have noticed. I'm not that blind. Okay. At a certain level, I'm trying to see if it even leaves a mark or if you just remove all of it. I see something, I see a little bit, but honestly, after like, you go over it a couple times, it does kind of seem like the point of this is to put it on and then remove it. But, eh, okay, yeah, I see it a little bit. It's a little bit of shade underneath your cheekbones and then around your nose. Yeah, that one's a little more apparent with the light. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. 
You already have good cheekbones. I don't really see why this is necessary. Still, it looks good. All right, got it. I've seen that that name before. Nutmeg. Got your pumpkin spice stuff going. I get it. That's probably my fault. I shouldn't have introduced you to it. It's powder. Good. This is why there's so much dust. <laughs> okay. Again, this is my bad vision. Again, a nut, hazelnut. It's a Nutella kind of night. Did not notice the smell or the color. But, okay. How does this stuff stay on? I assume that any powder will just fly off your face the second you move around too much. There will probably be a spray later on. I'll, I'll call it out if I'm right. This is looking good, though. Not a skin pore in sight. Looking like a, one of those images that people, or pictures people take where they make themselves look perfect. But you're doing it using makeup, so you're not cheating. As far as I'm concerned. I'm sure some people would consider it cheating. Look at those, look at that cheek. So bright now. It's like you're blushing. It's like you're embarrassed that I'm making this video right now. Because you are. Because you're standing right next to me and you seem clearly embarrassed. <laughs> uh, okay. Didn't realize you put that on your nose, but I get, I get why. It'd be weird if it was, like, not flushed. That's an, that's an interesting case for it, at least. I don't know what this is yet, but... Another powder to be blended to make your to make your eyes pop a little bit with a little bit of brightness underneath it. I get that. I've done that before, like, painting things. Mm-hmm. I can't see what color it is because it's not on camera, but I'm assuming it's a slightly lighter tone. That would make sense. I get that. Fluff up. What was that? Oh, okay. It's for your eyebrows. Got it. You know, some people draw on their eyebrows. I'm glad you don't do that because that can't be good. All right. Clean them up. You've always had very precise eyebrows. I can appreciate the effort that goes into that. Very neat. Very well done. More mascara. Or is it still mascara at this point? Okay. Got it. Do you reapply later because it gets covered in powder from the other steps? Maybe. Okay. Another pencil, but this time for the lip. Different game. But nice, clean, round lines. No mistakes yet. Honestly, no mistakes in the video from what I'm seeing. I obviously wouldn't, I probably wouldn't recognize it if there was, but very good job so far, I assume. Okay, so you put the, the, the liner on and you put the, okay, I get it. You put the lipstick on and it only covers most of the lines. So you don't have to blend it in as much. Okay. Bite toilet paper, got it. <laughs> Um, different tone, or is it the same one? Okay, hard to tell. Looks like the same. But yeah, what they say about guys and not being able to see, like, ranges of colors. That's the spray. That's what makes it settle in. That makes, that stops it from flying away. Got it. This is why you only kind of leave gigantic smudges on the side of my face if we touch. Okay, so that's, that's the, that's the tutorial. I hope this is helpful. If anyone learned anything from this, uh, congrats, I wouldn't expect you to.